every five seconds, half a million people do an online search or watch a video on TikTok. And every five seconds, a child under 15 dies. The vast majority of them in low income countries. How can we live in the most connected digital era, but at the same time in such an inequitable one? And how can we use the power of mass adoption of technology to make healthcare more equitable in the future? These are questions that preoccupied me five years ago when I was working in a telecommunications company. I was constantly being made aware of the incredible power and reach of the internet and of mobile services. Yet, it fell wrong focusing on forecasts and goals to increase those in further developing countries without exploring how they might help meet some basic human needs. Around that time, I met three young engineers who were building a smartphone app, which will provide a hearing test and then, where needed, a hearing solution that was up 100 times cheaper than traditional hearing aids. The potential to impact many people's lives was huge. There are 400 million people with hearing loss globally, and only one out of 40 can access a hearing aid in developing countries. The rest are deprived of a solution, remaining isolated, their education and productivity affected. I decided to join them and build our first startup. We call it YouSound and decided to make it available in Spanish, Portuguese, and English. The app works very simply, testing all the sound frequencies that an audiologist will test. And for people who do suffer hearing loss, the phone then amplifies the frequencies in accordance with their needs, so that when they listen through a smartphone headphones to the wall, to the voices around them, they have a modern day hearing aid. So far, we have delivered over a million hearing tests in South America. Every seven minutes, someone is doing a hearing test with our app. So it won't be many years before we have delivered 10 million tests. Of course, this technology is not a cure. It is diagnostic and assistive. So next, we teamed up with 500 audiologists who can receive test results remotely and recommend an in-person appointment when one is needed. Many of our tests have been performed on outreach visits. Just recently, we conducted 5,000 hearing tests in north of Argentina, 50 of which resulted in diagnosis and treatment. And the mass of data we are gathering is making remote diagnosis easier. If there is a concentration of hearing infections in one village, that may be a sign that there is something in the local water source causing infection, for example. Our technology has also made audiology an attractive career option. And we expect to see the number of clinics rise because both the study time and setup costs have been reduced. By lowering the barriers to entry for medical practitioners, we are truly democratizing healthcare for patients and professionals. The scale of our impact just shows how easily the 7.2 billion smartphones in the world can be used to make improvements to human health and well-being. 90% of people own a smartphone. That means that even in the remotest 
poorest corners of the world, a smartphone is nearby. That is a tremendous power. We can be the first generation to take advantage of it, and the last to live with a healthcare system that is out of reach. So please, introduce the communities, the people that you work with, with you sound. It is a health solution that is often already in their hands. They just need to hear about it. Thank you very much.